is a sport that must have brought joy and exhilaration to thousands of people. And there's a name for those thousands of people, bone surgeons. Makes wonderful viewing though, doesn't it? I can't tell you the number of times I've put that on to look at since I got one of these. Particularly when the only real television programs that are on it, well, just look what's on at the moment. On one station, they've got something called the wonderful world of dry cleaning. And then on the other one, no, it must be some kind of cowboy series, Frontier Accountant. You see, there's the big advantage of one of these. You no longer have to take what they want to give you. Because you must have noticed this, what they've got on hardly ever seems to coincide with what you've got on. Do you know what I mean? I mean, take for example, the one night of the week when you've been invited out to a dinner party or something. So, who else have they invited? Oh, not her. Last time, all she talked about right through dinner was worming her dog. Hey, shall we see what we're missing on the telly? Isn't it always the same? The one night of the week when, oh, look, the Miss World contest, a Muhammad Ali fight, late night film called The Creeping Pervert from Outer Space. Even the epilogue's got a guest appearance by Frank Sinatra. Darling, darling, shall we phone them and tell them that... Whoever those people are who decide what programs go out when, it's almost as if they knew, isn't it? What's more, I've got a feeling they also get tipped off about those nights when your circumstances are the reverse of that. Take one of those rare occasions when you've got a whole free evening at home. So instead of catching up with your VAT account, you've decided to treat yourself to a night of telly-watching. So which night do they pick to put out a rerun of the whole of last year's TUC conference, or a Lithuanian folk opera, or something called the making of a peat bog? Isn't it always the case? Just one other example. That television dilemma, which has probably led to more domestic conflict than wife swapping. The evening you've secretly been looking forward to all week, one of your favorite old films is just about to begin. Come on, darling, leave those. You'll miss the beginning. It starts any minute now. And that's when you notice what's just started on the other channel, a medical documentary showing an operation in full color. Nothing will tear her away from that. Like having a ripe peach snatched from your hand and replaced by a turnip, or it used to be, until this arrived on the scene. Now my viewing no longer has to be dictated by other people. Now I can watch what I want to when I want to. Watch what we want to, when we want to. Even when we have to go out, we don't have to miss anything, because this is what you might call Joe Public Strikes Back. Use it wisely, and you need never again have a bad evening's television. The Philips Television Recorder, a miracle of electronics that's so simple to operate, even I got the hang of it. And when I say that, do bear in mind, you're looking at someone who has difficulty replacing the spindle in the toilet roll holder. So what happens with it? Well, all that happens is this. Up on the roof, or wherever it is you have it, you have your normal television aerial, the thing that picks television signals from the transmitter. Down the wire they come, into the back of this recorder, which is also, among other things, a television receiver. Aha, you say, if you're the sort of person given to saying things like aha. Aha, but if it's a television receiver, why hasn't it got a screen? Stay right where you are, and I'll tell you. Because it doesn't need one. You've already got a screen, just here. What it does have, though, among other things, is a tape deck, just like an ordinary audio tape recorder's got, but this one records pictures as well. 
no less than two hours of video recording all tidily wound up in this one cassette. So, as the signals ooze down your aerial, whatever program you want to record, you select the channel, and from then on, it works just like your kid's tape recorder. You record it, you rewind it, and then you play it. And there it is on your TV screen. And that basically is all there is to it. Tell you something. You know what my first reaction was when I had it explained to me? Nothing that simple can actually work. I'll be absolutely frank with you. I didn't believe it, especially this bit, the clock. That's one of those among other things that I mentioned earlier. They said, and this is really where I found my faith being put to the test. They said, this can be set to any time over a three day period and it'll switch on the recorder for the particular program that's on at that time and record it all without you being there. In other words, you can be out of the house for three days with the television set switched off and this will have the program you missed waiting for you on a cassette when you get back. Well, as it happened, soon after I got it, we did go away for three days. Therefore, in the obvious knowledge that I'd be away from home, one channel was showing an old film that Sunday night. So, taking this as an ideal opportunity to test out the absentee recording element of my Philips, I followed the simple instructions. First set the day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, day three. Then set the time the program starts, half past nine, that's, uh, that's 21.30. Set how long program runs, one and a half hours, if I remember right. Then just set it to record. And if I may use a phrase beloved of all technologists, that's all there is to it, Squire. Just think what I'd done. I had, in effect, said to an inanimate mechanism, I'd said, what I want you to do is just lie there quietly until Sunday night, right? And then at half past nine, I want you to wake yourself up, watch a full-length feature film, record it all faithfully on your roll of tape, then switch yourself off and go back to sleep again. Now. Here, I, I have to be frank. I wouldn't trust my own son to carry out those instructions. That's why at 12 that Friday night, I drove all the way back just to see. Nothing. It just sat there. Was there anything going on inside it? Was it awake? Sleep? Worrying? Mentally rehearsing? Would you believe... I sat there staring at it all through Saturday and Sunday. Nothing that simple can actually work. I wouldn't trust my own son to carry out those instructions. So you expect me to accept that an inert hunk of machinery... Don't ask me to tell you how it did it. All I can tell you is that it did do it. And what's more, it's provided an equally effective answer to those other everyday viewing problems, like the occasions when there's two good programs on at the same time and you want to see both of them. Because another thing that this most intelligent of machines can do is allow you to watch a program on one channel while at the same time it craftily puts on tape whatever is going on on the other channel. And after that, not only can you look at it whenever you like, you can also just look at any small section of it you fancy, you see, because this counter here lets you go right to it, like using the page numbers in a book. And something you can't do with a book, if you want to, you can erase the tape or just any part of the tape and record something else on it. Mind you, about that, I do have to issue you one warning. I have to say that if you're at all like me, you'll often find that you're a bit reluctant to erase a program after you've got it in your possession. 
because of my Phillips, I've now acquired a collection of some of the finest, most dramatic and visually exciting moments that television has ever offered. What's my favorite? Well, I do have to say it's this. This is something, oh, I could look at it a thousand times and still find some fresh moment of, well, I suppose the only word is nobility. I'm just telling him about my favorite, my favorite one. No. Oh, look what you made me do. so emotional about this. Isn't it funny how wives get emotional about their husband's favorites? But before I play it to you, let me just remind you about a few things with the VCR. The VCR can record any program up to two hours over any period of three days and it can record one program while you're watching another one. What's more, it will not only record it when you're here, it will also record it when you're not here or when your wife's not here or when she's here and you're not or, or when, when she's not and you are or when neither of you are or both of you are or you can perm any combination of all three. Yeah, that's it. Oh, one other thing. thing that I nearly forgot. If you're one of those people who hate all the television programs that they put out, there's even a portable camera available so that you can make your own television program and look at it, which can be very interesting sometimes. So, the recorder is automatic, it's transistorized, and as you've seen from my own experiences, it is virtually foolproof. Okay, can we now see my favorite? Right. Will you now share with me one of those rare moments when television suddenly achieves greatness? And now, introducing the star of our show, Dennis Norton. Okay, then, please yourself. Hey, come to think of it, that's really all I've been trying to put across. With a Philips VCR, no longer do you have to take what they want to give you. Where television's concerned, you can now please yourself. Have you progressed from going on 40 to going on Valium? <laughs> Are you? Are you at the age when you don't like going into antique shops in case someone makes an offer for you? <laughs> if, if you even understood it.